Even your worst enemy has a best friend. When we think someone is despicable, it usually is because we cannot understand how they can say or do the things they do. It's almost like they're an alien. It's hard to wrap our minds around the fact that there are people who would like them. That somewhere out there, there's a mother, a family who loves this person. So when we really hate someone and we think about how there are other people who love them, we can really begin to see that perhaps this person has this other side that we've not seen. Maybe a side that they are not showing us. We can really wonder if we know the other aspects of someone, if we can see the backstory to their behavior, if we can see the kindness and compassion that they show the people they love, would we still be able to hate this person? We are going to be meeting many, many different people in this lifetime. Instead of disliking someone we do not understand, we can use that energy to be curious, to let curiosity drive us to try understand the reasons behind why someone is the way he is. The gift of being human is that we cannot help but feel extremely connected to our humanity. This means that when our brain starts to see something, starts to process something and understand something, we find it very, very hard to not relate, to not feel compassion. And so there is one very clear truth, and that is once we have understanding, it becomes impossible to judge. It becomes impossible to hate even if we disagree with a person's behavior. We just cannot hate something we understand. This is why when we seek to understand, we can never be unhappy. When we have no enemies and no one we dislike, all we'll have is this profound clarity that there are no good people or bad people. There's just what is. And this is when we're free to be happy always.